where do you start? If you look back at this image, where would you ever start if you're not really sure? Okay, it's a bit overwhelming. There are a lot of tasks. What's the best way to start? That's where Tableau can help by using the blueprint assessment. And the blueprint assessment is just one big survey that we can send to a customer that's not really sure where to get started. We aim for five profiles you see on the right side of this slide. So our infrastructure provider, the data provider, the content creator, the enablement provider, and the business sponsor. Because these are the five key profiles to make sure that we learn everything about your current uh, installation or your current environment. And by walking through a list of questions, and these are not questions targeted on uh, how much percent of this task is completed? No, these are just text-based questions with text-based answers. And by looking at results, we always come up with something like this in a Tableau dashboard. So by purely using the survey results, we will be able to show on a visual basis where um, the company is located on top of the blueprint you'll see that you have a different percentage per blueprint stop. And that will help you understand, okay, only 56% of our project team has been completed. Who feels that we don't have a business sponsor yet? Who feels that it's not clear yet who, who's doing what? So it could also learn us what the best approach would be to wrap up certain tasks and also find out where some communication issues lie, for example. Because on the blueprint assessment, the, the end user or the, the person filling it out also gets the possibility to uh, write down their top three goals for the next year with Tableau. And that's also one of the more important elements that come out of this blueprint assessment to, to get things going, let's say. The second overview looks something like this, um, where we basically take a look uh, at the percentages that are not zero, let's say. So where some work already happened. And we can see here, okay, most of the people, so uh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight people, uh, or four of the eight people think there is some executive sponsorship involved. And four of the eight don't really know or don't agree that already shows us that there might be a sort of communication issue because it seems there is an executive sponsor. So the person, yeah, let's say, paying for the whole solution and making sure it's going to be used in the entire organization, but it's not clear for everyone. And that's also quite interesting information that we get by purely looking at the results of the blueprint assessment.